Hey YouTube, this is Ben coming to you from the 93 Volvo 940. I think that I am heading out to, uh, what is it? I'm heading out to Holy Hill over somewhere in Wisconsin. It's a big old church. So I probably will um, be taking some pictures. And I thought I would start a new um, mini series or as long as I have cameras called 24 Exposures. I haven't looked to see if there's anything of similar naming on YouTube. But basically, I have a few different digital cameras and a couple different film cameras as well. And I would like to take 24 pictures or so and explain something about these cameras that I have. When it's the film cameras, it's going to take a little bit longer because I need to put a roll of film in it. And then I need to go get it developed. And if I want to put uh, film pictures on the internet, then I need to scan them and stuff like that. So it's a little more time consuming. But there isn't too many videos about older digital cameras or old film cameras on YouTube. And the couple that I did find might have actually been in a different uh, language, actually. Like, Spanish. So, I think it would be worthwhile to try and do that. So my first camera that I'm going to be using today is a Olympus uh, D150 Zoom. It's also called an Olympus Brio, I believe. And I'll have the details next. So here we are. This is our Olympus Brio Zoom or Olympus Camedia D150 Zoom. It is a 1.3 megapixel digital camera, as you can see. This is the front side. This is the top side. I'll spin it around. The stickers, the original stickers, stayed on very nicely. We have our shutter button, and we also have our wide and trim zoom function button. We have the back side of the camera, there's a very simple optical viewfinder. We also have a uh, one and a half inch, I believe, LCD screen. Also a four way directional pad with a display button and a menu button slash OK button. On the bottom, we just have the uh, fine print sticker. We also have the battery compartment, which we can open up here, and it uses two double A's. Um, which makes it a little more power friendly because you only have to put two in at a time. It doesn't eat them up that quickly either. Um, we also have a plastic uh, tripod socket for normal usage. Left side is for the wrist strap or lanyard or whatever you may. Um, oh, that was the right side. This is the left side. And you have your USB video out and um, AC adapter um, input as well. So, also, on the front side, you have the uh, memory card compartment. And this is an older camera. It's from 2001, when it was originally released. So, Olympus used an interesting format called Smart Media. I'm sure you've seen them before. Um, they're very, very thin. And they have a lot of uh, shiny contact on the opposite side. They only went up to 128 megabytes in size. With a 1.3 megapixel camera, um, 32 megabytes, as you can see here, works uh, pretty darn well. It has kind of a slower read-write time than compact flash of the day, so it really wasn't the best memory card. And it's not so rigid because, you know, you could break it pretty easy. But that goes right in here, and it um, clicks into place. You could pull it right out if you got a finger hold, but that's kind of the point to click it into place. It's too far in to grab. Shuts up, and this camera powers on by sliding the lens cover. And it also covers the memory card cover at the same exact time. We have our 3 times zoom lens here, and the flash unit that I had my finger um, stuck over the top. There's also the uh, self-timer indicator, which is the red um, lens on the front there, you can see. It um, has a zoom range of 5 to 15 millimeters, and the uh, f-stop is 1 in 2.4 to 4.3. So you can see normally the viewfinder isn't on unless you press the display button, which uh, turns it on, and then you get a very small readout, which is hard to see on this display. 
but you get about 95% of the actual image and you also get a um, status of number of pictures left and the quality setting you have it on. You also get two lights. Um, one indicates that you have correct focus and if the orange light comes on, which is the other one, it indicates that you need flash for the picture. So the flash just went off, it took a picture of the floor, it's not too bad. Um, the menu system is very simple. You have flash on off, uh, burst or self timer, macro mode, um, digital zoom on or off, exposure bracketing, quality setting, white balance setting, um, uh, internal speaker setting, time and date, screen brightness, and that's basically all you can access on this camera. It's a very, very simple point and shoot. You can turn the flash on and off with the right hand button and the macro mode on and off as well with the right hand button. And you can turn the screen off. Uh, the funny way of viewing the pictures is that you have to um, shut the camera off or the shooting mode off by closing the lens cover and then you have to press the display button. And that's how you access playback mode on this camera as you can see. If you open the lens cover it goes right back into shooting mode and to turn playback mode off without opening the lens cover you press the display button once more. So overall I'd say it's a very good point and shoot camera. Um, I believe its ISO sensitivity is probably 100 or 200. It's automatically selected by the camera. So if you have the flash off and you're in a lower light situation you can see the uh, image noise quite readily. You can also see it with the flash on or off. But outdoors you get the best uh, sharpness from the lens and lens performance. The uh, focus time is very good I would say for a point and shoot. You can just turn it on it takes three or four seconds to start up and then you can just go ahead and point and shoot. Compared to some uh, newer cheaper digital cameras that have autofocus lenses uh, this Olympus camera does very well. Like I was saying before, I took this camera out today. I went to a flea market out by Holy Hill. You'll know where that is if you're in Wisconsin. I took some pictures at a uh, full wide angle in telephotos. Some had the flash on and the flash off, but it was mostly a bright sunny day and otherwise uh, partly cloudy. You'll be able to see in some of the pictures how the flash overcompensated or how the um, 1.3 megapixel resolution kind of hurt the image quality because the lens could have done better just if it had a more uh, high megapixel sensor. But like I said, it did a pretty good job, so here's your 24 exposures for the day.
never gonna find another You're never gonna find a better lover, man Hey, hope you liked this first episode of 24 Exposures. Camera was bought off of eBay. Recording was done on my Pantech Burst smartphone. Um, editing was done with Windows Movie Maker. Like and subscribe if you thought this video was at least a little bit informative. And don't forget to keep shooting.